China has been making a series of efforts to rehabilitate and combat desertification, a serious environmental problem in the country. Desertification affects 27% of China's total land area, and it poses a significant threat to the country's economy and people's livelihoods. In recent years, China has completed several major transportation projects across deserts, including the Gobi Desert and the Taklamakan Desert. At the same time, China has adopted tree planting techniques to reverse desertification. According to the National Forestry and Grassland Administration, China planted 7.12 million hectares of trees in 2020, bringing the total forest area to 70.4 million hectares. These efforts not only reduce desertification, but also help fight climate change by increasing carbon sequestering and reducing soil erosion. In addition, China has conquered the desert by building trans-desert highways. It's a complex process involving many different stages. The opening of a highway in China's Taklamakan Desert is a good example of the process of building new roads. In this video, we will look at China's process of transforming sandy seas where sun and wind can reduce people's minds into incredible traffic structures, making the world admire. How can China overcome the lack of electricity and water and the extreme terrain to build thousands of kilometers of highways through the desert of death? But before that, remember to support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel, which will give us a lot of inspiration to continue creating quality videos and surprises. Have you ever heard about the construction of the Yuli Chimo Expressway? It began in October 2017 and took nearly four years to complete. The first phase of the process consisted of surveying and designing the area. The engineers had to take into account the difficult topography of the desert, including high sand dunes and low-lying areas between them. They also had to ensure that the highway could withstand the harsh weather conditions of the area, including frequent sandstorms, after the design was complete, construction crews began the clearance process and prepared the foundations for the road. This involved leveling sand dunes and filling low-lying areas. The highway was constructed of various layers of materials including asphalt gravel and concrete to prevent the highway from being buried by sand. Builders have set up 58 million square meters of grass mesh and more than 900 kilometers of barriers along the road. These measures helped stabilize the sand and prevent it from being blown into the roadway. The construction process also involved the installation of infrastructure such as bridges and drainage systems, which were necessary to ensure that the road would be safe and usable in all weather conditions. Eventually, the road was paved and marked with lane markings and signage. Once the highway is complete, it will be open to traffic, providing faster and more efficient transportation for people and goods crossing the desert. The new South Xinjiang Railway is a major railway project in China. It passes through the country's largest desert, the Taklamakan, in Xinjiang Autonomous Region. The railway stretches for 1.2 kilometers and connects two major cities in southern Xinjiang. The construction of the new South Xinjiang Railway began in 2009 and was completed in 2016 with a total investment of about 38.2 billion yuan, about 5.9 billion US dollars. The project involved the construction of 227 bridges, 23 tunnels, and 8 stations, as well as the installation of 1.21 kilometers of tracks. One of the important techniques for building a desert railway is to prepare the ground before laying the tracks. The soil must be leveled, compacted, and stabilized to ensure a stable foundation. Engineers used a layer of gravel to improve ground stability. Another important technique was to lay rails to prevent the tracks from slipping, sinking, or shifting due to the displacement of the dunes. Engineers use ballast platforms made from stone and crushed gravel that distribute the weight of the tracks and provide stability to the railways to cope with extreme temperatures. Desert construction crews also use specialized equipment and materials 
such as workers using quick curing concrete. They also use cooling systems and sun tents to protect workers from heat stroke and dehydration. Another technique implemented by engineers to protect railways from dunes and wind erosion is to apply a green solution to prevent sand from disrupting railway operations. The construction of the Hotan Ruachang Railway, stretching 825 kilometers through the southern edge of the desert, involved planting trees. Of the nearly 13 million trees, tall trees were planted along the outer areas to reduce wind speeds and shrubs were planted along the inner areas to fix the sand. Automatic irrigation control has also been implemented using smartphones. A green corridor to prevent sand has been built along the Hotan Ruichang Railway in the Xinjiang region. This railway runs through the southern rim of the Taklamakan Desert and is an important national railway project formed by about 50 million square meters of grass mesh and 13 million shrubs and seedlings stretching 300 kilometers along the railway line. The green belt will be a sand shield that will help prevent encroachment of sand into the railway, ensuring smooth operation and reducing the risk of accidents due to sandstorms. After the railway is put into operation, it will promote the economic and social development of South Xinjiang. This green corridor to prevent sand is a remarkable initiative highlighting China's commitment to combating desertification and protecting the environment. The process and effect of grass nets and green barriers in building high-speed railways across the desert has been successful in China's fight against desertification. China has made tremendous efforts to control desertification by exploring new techniques to improve relevant laws and launching greening projects. The President, Xi Jinping, has personally participated in the process on a platform that promotes a direct agenda. More than half of China's manageable desertification land area has been restored over the past decade, reducing the area of desertified land by more than 4.33 million hectares. Since 2012, a series of important projects have gradually built green ecological fencing along the sandstorm line in northern China and in areas surrounding the Kabuchi Desert and have been turned into oases with grass nets and green fences. The construction helped prevent desertification by reducing the amount of sand that could be blown into nearby areas. Grass nets are installed around the edges of the built-up area to create a barrier that reduces the movement of sand, while green barriers involve planting vegetation around the built-up area to help anchor the soil and prevent erosion. China's forest cover has reached 23.04%, an increase of 2.68% compared to 2012, and 64 million hectares of trees have been planted in China in the past decade. Earlier data showed that the area of desertified land in the country declined by an average annual of 242,400 hectares, reversing a trend from the late 1990s when desertification occurred. The land is expanded by 1.04 million hectares per year. Desertification remains one of the most pressing issues facing humanity, with more than 2 billion people from 167 countries and regions still threatened by desertification. After years of efforts to control the sand, China has been quite prominent globally, and the Kabuchi Desert is a prime example. The Kabuchi Desert is China's seventh largest desert, located in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region which over the years of greening efforts has created more than 646,000 hectares of verdant desert with restored biodiversity and markedly improved ecosystems. More than 100,000 people escape poverty. The construction of photovoltaic power plants along China's southern Xinjiang Tarim Desert Highway marks a significant shift towards clean energy and reduced carbon emissions. The Tarim Desert Highway connects the cities of the Luntai and Minfeng regions near Tarim, Xinjiang, China, with a total length of 552 kilometers and an area of 270,000 square kilometers, in which there are about 446 kilometers of construction 
in uninhabited areas, surrounded by immense sand dunes, some up to 20 meters high. The Tarim Desert Highway passing through the Taklamakan Desert is known as the world's second largest displacement sand desert. In previous years, it was used to pump water to irrigate shelter belts along a highway of 20 million trees planted in 2005 to protect the desert from sand intrusion. To maintain this massive infrastructure and to maintain a smooth road for oil transportation, the Chinese government hired a large team of workers to work at the foot of the highway. A small blue house is issued every four kilometers for two Chinese to live in, specializing in monitoring and repairing irrigation systems on their stretch of highway. Each pair stays here for up to two years and usually has no contact with anyone else during this time, including their neighbors. Since 2003, China has planted about 2 million trees a year, built dozens of water wells and increased the size of the sand protection belt to about 70 meters in width and 400 kilometers in length. The planting of trees on the Tarim Highway is being studied by world scholars as a good example of how to develop irrigation systems in dry regions. However, in a move aimed at reducing carbon emissions this year, 86 photovoltaic plants are being built along the highway using entirely solar instead of diesel generators. These clean energy plants will pump groundwater to irrigate plants and achieve zero carbon dioxide emissions when built. The photovoltaic plants are the result of initial efforts that began in 2010 when 12 solar power stations were built along desert highways to explore the use of clean energy to pump irrigation water as an alternative to diesel. The success of these early efforts led to the rehabilitation of 86 well stations, replacing diesel generators with photovoltaic generators to pump irrigation water. Photovoltaic power stations are designed and built differently at each valve station. Depending on the specific groundwater level of that area, the photovoltaic panels with a 25-year lifespan are designed to withstand the desert sandstone and require regular cleaning. Power plants also have storage cabinets so that energy can provide power for up to seven hours in cloudy weather. The Tarim Desert Highway passing through the Taklamakan Desert in China's Xinjiang Autonomous Region is not only the largest highway ever built in the desert, but also a real achievement in Chinese engineering. It can be said that the construction of trans-desert highways is one of the feats in China's engineering industries. What do you think about it? Please leave your ideas in the comments section below. Bye for now, and see you again in the latest Top Wonders videos.